As the 2024-25 MLB offseason heats up, Garrett Crochet has emerged as one of the most talked about trade candidates, and now the New York Mets are entering the race to acquire the White Sox left-hander. Multiple teams have been linked to Crochet, and with the Mets in need of starting pitching, the fit is obvious New York has significant holes in their rotation, with Sean Manier, Luis Severino, and Jose Quintana all set to hit free agency. While the Mets could go big in free agency, their president of baseball operations, David Stearns, has a strong track record of finding success through trades. Crochet, entering his second year of arbitration, is projected to earn just $2.9 million in 2025, making him an affordable option for the Mets in the final two years of his team control. This affordability allows New York to potentially allocate resources elsewhere, such as pursuing more pitching or even targeting a star like Juan Soto however, acquiring Crochet won't come cheap. The White Sox, in the midst of a rebuild, are looking for a significant return for their top trade asset. GM Chris Getz has made it clear that the team is seeking position players to improve their offense. As such, the Mets may need to part with valuable prospects from their top-ranked minor league system, which was ranked 10th by Baseball America in August, while the Mets have interesting trade ships, they might not have the highest quantity of elite prospects compared to other teams. Still, their farm system includes players like Brett Beatty, Luis Angel Acuna, Ronnie Mauricio, and several highly ranked younger prospects like Jet Williams and Drew Gilbert. To get Crochet's attention, the Mets may need to offer at least two of these position players, but they'll likely face stiff competition from other suitors with elite prospects to offer. The trade for Crochet could be a critical move for the Mets as they aim to bolster their rotation without breaking the bank, while also preparing for the future with a solid pipeline of talent.